Using this picmonic, learn how to decode an ECG and describe the 12 contiguous leads in the event of an inferior wall myocardial infarction. Just picture the 12 leads on the inferior infer myocardial infarction. Inferior wall MI is a broad term describing inferior, true posterior, and right ventricular infarctions. In an inferior MI, you'll see pathologic Q waves and ST segment changes in lead 2, the 222, lead 3, the 3 tree, and lead AVF the AV foot. Inferior wall myocardial infarctions occur due to ischemia of the right coronary artery, or RCA, described here as the right crown artery. So in short review, in an inferior wall MI, we see these changes in the 12 contiguous leads on an ECG. There are Q-wave and ST segment changes in leads 2, 3, and AVF. This all occurs because of ischemia to the right coronary artery. The 12 lead ECG machine is attempting to save the royal heart yet again. This time, he tripped and fell, damaging himself with an inferior MI, with his fur coat falling onto an inferior wall. The heart just can't contain himself around this pretty ballerina in a tutu. He gets distracted and trips over a three tree, and he doesn't just stub his toe. He hit the tree so hard that it splits his left foot down the middle, giving him an AV foot. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our 12 lead ECG contiguous leads Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from lateral wall MI, anterior wall MI, inferior wall MI, septal wall MI, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.